blockchain, let's start with blockchain and just a high level kind of overview because people hear it. I don't really think most people, the layperson understands what that means and what the importance and relevance it, it, that it's going to be playing. It already plays, but it's going to be playing in, in the years to come. So just let's start with blockchain, then we can kind of go into cryptocurrencies and, and go from there. Sure. Blockchain is an open source ledger, like an accounting ledger, but not confined to one organization or one person. It's actually shows you all the transactions that happen and anybody around the world can see any transaction that happened on the blockchain. It's a public, open source, completely decentralized anywhere. If I had a transaction, you and me here in the States, somebody in Africa can see that we had a transaction. Uh, I started with Bitcoin, it grew to Ethereum, Litecoin, and then now there's like that millions of coins that have been created later on, but the, the benefits of blockchain is that it is a ledger. Mm -hmm. So if you have data background, if you have accounting background, if you know finance, it shouldn't it, technology it should make a lot of sense. Um, but it records all transactions and data that you need it to record. That's mostly a public source. There are private ledgers as well. Mm -hmm. That's used mostly for organizations internally. But the the blockchain I'll be talking about are mostly decentralized, open source, publicly available to view. And, and if we break that down another step, uh, again, to, to help people understand this, it's a ledger, meaning we're recording a transaction. Uh, it could be a contract, could be a purchase, you know, whatever it is. And it cannot be altered by anyone else, meaning it is a permanent record. Now you can have another transaction and you the two parties can agree to do something and that'll just be another entry into the blockchain. But the security of that and the transparency of that, let's let's talk because I love it, but there's a lot of people that don't like that. And, and if you can talk about the good and the bad and the ugly with it. Sure. Well, we can we can definitely get into that a little bit with examples. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the good and the bad and the ugly is that, you know, uh central bankers don't like it because it threatens their ability to control the population. And so no. yeah. that's the one. You know, the big banks don't like it. Actually, they're, they're embracing it now because they find that they find that using that ledger enables them to have a greater operational efficiencies than they ever had before. You know, um, the the ugly is, you know, there's still a lot of fraud and scams, but not at the extent that your politicians will lead you to believe if you don't know any better. <laughs> sure. You know, the last thing you want to do if you are a criminal or a drug dealer or anything like that is use a blockchain. Sure. Because you can be sourced and you can be traced back to who you are and where you are. And then, you know, so if you're a criminal, you want to use, you don't want to use blockchain because it's a permanent record. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, I think that people think that's the the bad. I think that's the good, you know, because you can tra trace down a lot of these, a lot of these, you know, bad actors. It's not smart, you know. Um, but the good thing is that, you know, um, from a, Bitcoin perspective, at least, you know, it is, it does open up the opportunity for a new currency, which is Bitcoin. It's, it's relatively new, but then you get into conversations about what's the appropriate kind of economics. Is it the Keynesian economics where the government knows best? Or is it um, Austrian economics where uh, free market capitalism is no, knows best? You know, so you get into that debate and that, that avenue as well. Yep. It I can tell you what my opinion on that is, but uh, and certainly not the government knowing best. The, the I, w I just want to make a point of clarification. You said there's still a lot of you know scams and, and issues, but not about blockchain. Like blockchain, for understand, is not scammable. It's it's people falling for these to these new token coins, these celebrity endorse endorse things, or or you know or somebody just running a scam trying to get you get money from you, and they'll use you know, crypto or whatever, but blockchain as a ledger is a pure in purpose and non, you know, I don't, I can't think of the word, but non screwable, right? You can't screw with, with blockchain, right? So yeah. I, I don't see the downside to it from a, fr from a ledger and a, and the transparency. I can't see a downside as a layperson, as a consumer, as a, as a member of society. I can, if you're running a big bank, totally, if you're running, if you're in the government, totally get it because it threatens their way of life but from a from an you know average working person that's trying to make a living and and, and help people and, and grow my wealth this is a good thing i can't find the downside of blockchain yeah so it's really simple so just tr just draw a line on a piece of paper okay that line 
is not is 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 basically the blockchain. Okay. okay. And then there are ways to get on it and off it, which occur in the beginning or the end of that line. Okay. Those 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 two things are exchanges and wallets. Okay. okay. So the blockchain can't be tampered with. It's foolproof. Unless you're some companies who've created an editable blockchain, but that's like internal. Um, yep. It's how public blockchains they can't be altered. They can be forked. You know, you could fork a block. You could fork a chain, which means you know people agree on a new path for a chain, but you can't change the history. Mm-hmm. So the only thing that you can attack is you can is is the is the on ramp and the off ramp onto the blockchain, and that's where all that's where all the you know. Fun stuff. I'll call it fun stuff. Sure. The interesting stuff happens. 